For that I took a piece of wood and this is uh, 13 centimeter long and I made a mark around six and a half around the half of this so I know where it is and I made six of these then I take my tiny drill and I drill a hole here and one here from the same angle okay I have done that so I have two tiny holes one here and one there and I'm going to take some tiny tiny hammer beads and some jump rings and then I'm going to put a hammer bead on a jump ring and I did that before and I put the jump ring into the top hole here with the hammer bead and I put another jump ring at the middle here like that now I'm going to make a piece going from here to there and for that I'm using half the stick uh, so it will go from here to down there and I'm again going to make a hole in the top and in the bottom part of that and then place it on there and I actually did that but I need to cut this off so I'm going to do that so I made the hole and I'm taking a jump ring and I'm opening it as you see right here taking one of those mini hammer beads and placing it here on the jump ring so I'm putting one of these end of the rings in the hole here so I'm placing it so it goes into both holes of uh, the pin so I have the jump ring sitting here with the hammer beads on it and I'm doing that with all six of these so I have six that is just alike then I made these two totally equal small circle of polymer clay these are rolled out on setting one and I'm just uh, cut out with the circle uh, cutter and then I made a hole in the middle that fits the stick here and I'm actually going to glue that on top of this uh, but leaving a tiny bit uh, on top here uh, and I'm going to glue that with my E6000 There we go, and I can always shorten off this part, so don't be afraid of that. I'm going to put this one aside for a moment. Then I'm going to glue these sticks onto this part. I'm going to take these that I made, and I'm going to glue them, uh, this hammer bead on the top side here. I'm going to glue that to this uh, blue circle. And I'm going to do it so that this pin is going up like it is here. So it sits like that. And then equally uh, put around on this um, blue things. And I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to glue these to there. Then I took the other uh, circle thing and I made it big enough to be able to slide here on the stick. I might have to make it a tiny bit bigger in the inside hole, but for now it's fine. I'm going to take this from the side and place it in here. 
finding out how or where I want it to go, so how much my umbrella is pulled out. So I'm thinking about here. So I'm just going to take my pen and make a mark right there, taking this one down. And then I'm going to take my hand drill here. And I'm going to make a tiny hole right here where I have my mark all the way through the pen. I'm going to take that out and just sand it a bit so that it's neat and nice. And then I have this piece of an eye pen and I'm going to put that in there like that. So when it's in there, it won't slide down longer than this, which will keep uh, the umbrella part up. Um, so now I need to glue this little bit here onto this part here. And I'm going to do that with all my beads all the way around so it looks like this and I'm gonna do that off camera because that's gonna be a tiny bit difficult. So I have this uh, all done and this took quite a lot of time to do and even more than I expected and it was not fun but I managed to get it to uh, sit right and I'm going to uh, measure from the tip of this long pole and all the way out and this one says uh, 13 and a half, so I'm just going to put this away. And I'm going to take my fabric here and fold this out. I like this because of the small uh, flowers on here. So I fold it here in half and I'm going to measure that's 15, so that's fine. And 15, so I have something like the middle right there. And 15 more that's here. So I'm just going to I'm finding the middle of this bend that's right here of this piece. Then I'm bending that over like that and this one back over. So that's my six pieces. This is what's in between each of uh, the sticks I have. So I can uh, draw a line here. This way I will have a umbrella with a nice uh, square edge or I can make a, a bow to make it a circular one. But I'm going to make it, cut it right over here. So first of all, I'm going to measure out here on top. Um, let's see. It was 13 and a half, so I'm going to four, 14 and a half. That's right there. And over here. Don't mind my cat, he's just noisy. 14 and a half over here. So my cut line will be there. So I'm just going to cut it like that, like that. And that should leave me this shape that I should be able to use for this umbrella like that. So it looks like what you see here in the pictures. And I'm going to fold up the edge all the way around and sew it nicely. And you could sew on a um, piece of lace or something if you have something pretty you like to. I painted all the pieces here silver. Um, and I did that because then it looks a little metallic instead and I kind of like that. And I left it drying overnight so I'm pretty sure it's um, it's all dry now. And I sewed up uh, the fabric for it so, and I put a tiny lace on the edge and I am going to make uh, a tiny hole up here in the middle and I am going to find my hot glue 
there we go. And this little end here, I'm going to put that through my fabric here. So I glued the middle here onto the fabric. So you can see this little point is sticking out. Then I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to take one of these and put glue on the tip of it. And gluing it down, turning it around, doing it with the next one. And I'm going to do that with all of them so that they're lying up into the right corners and then I will be back. I did all the corners so now the fabric is glued on here on my umbrella. I am going to take my uh, needle and thread and I'm going to sew a little around here, around this place and inside here and I'm going to do that on all six of these pins. And I'm using a super glue to keep the little knot intact. And now your umbrella should be done. You have this little hook here so that you can pull it down and your umbrella will have the right uh, look. I know I can't show you so I'm just going to put in a picture here. Take out the little knot and you can pull down the middle part of your umbrella and the more equal you make this the better it looks and the more you can squeeze it in without actually pulling everything from each other but I'm going to carefully do it and because of the sewing you can see that it is bending up really nice there we go and you can put a band around here if you want for it to be closed up and I'm going to cut off a piece of this so it's not as long so you can decide for how long you want it. Watch it that you don't lose this part. You can put a little string or something in there if you want to. I'm going to cut it off around here, I think. As I use super glue to uh, make sure that the th sewing thread stayed in place, I got some really annoying spots here on the uh, umbrella. So I made some small tiny bows here that I'm going to uh, hot glue onto the spots all the way around. So I made six of these and I'm going to do that on all six places here. And that's actually all there is to this cool umbrella. I put on some jewelry at the top to hide the tip of this umbrella. And that was just a few things I found in my jewelry box. So anyway, that's all there is to this umbrella. I hope you like it and happy crafting. <laughs>